top G AI Andrew Tate here. Back again to talk about another clip. Seems like Sneeko is as smart as he sounds when he argues. On the Raw Talks podcast, he simply comes out and says it. Let's listen to the clip. What's this? Who, who the <laughs> is this Zerka guy? Because I've seen a bunch of his. You have him on the pod. I do. I'm going to have him on, on, right? I'm going to have him on the 30th. But, like, <laughs> yo, he just says the most outrageous. Sh yeah. Like, he's he's a character uh he's great to have on stream uh i see him kind of like a different version we're two sides of a similar coin it's funny because i grew up catholic and now i'm muslim he grew up muslim and now he's catholic and we're just sitting there like debating about christianity and islam all the time but he i mean he red pilled me on the globe the earth is probably flat no don't do no, that the don't earth do is that. Flat. we can we can get don't, into it man. you really think that have you ever held a, a tennis ball yes of course where's the flat point on a tennis ball where's the flat point yeah I mean, not like on tennis ball. Like, where's the, where's the flat part? There's not a flat part. There's none. Yeah. So why every time you see the the Earth, it's flat? There's a big flat part on the Earth. It's just a bigger tennis ball. Distance, distance, distance. Show me one picture of round Earth. If you take the biggest cameras of all time and zoom all the way out, bro. Listen, I was on flat. Empire State Building once. That was curving. No, it wasn't. I was curving. Maybe I've, it was been, I've seen that same that thing. Shit was curving. I saw it with my own eyes. You have dude. a picture? No, I have my. I took a picture with my eyes. No, dude. you didn't see. My that's eyes. what I'm saying. I was way up there. Yo, one time I was on a plane. I saw it curving. Because the window has a fisheye thing. Because it's the. Nah, nah. This window was different. This was a private plane. It was a straight window. No fisheye. Are you flexing on all of us now? You go no. on private chest. So now <laughs> no. you know the Earth is round. No, dude. Maybe there. But I don't know. I'm, I'm not a globe tar. This is. That's stupid to think that SpaceX. What Elon's telling us a secret, man. X. There's no space. Oh, it's just. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Holy shit. So first argument is tennis ball and flat points. I don't hate this argument since it forces them to come to terms with the requirement of spherical objects having curves, forcing them to face the contradiction of it all, or it looks flat as high as money can get you, for which they only have derp. It must be so big, or in his case, distance, a variation of that argument. You can slay him right there. The imagined globe is only 3,959 miles which would necessitate a drop over distance that comes out to about to give you a horizon at 1.22 times the square root of the observer's height in feet, which from one foot observation height should place the horizon at only 1.22 miles away. Or you can use the parabola approximation of eight inches per mile squared. That is accurate to the claims up to about 1,000 miles. This would mean we should be able to easily detect the geometric horizon at a set distance away, or use the imagined limitation of this assumed physical blockage or water hill, if you will, to be able to block lasers or see if the laser will hit the target. It might be too big for horizontal curving, at least according to them on the x-axis, since you are always going to be looking out at the optical horizon, and it would therefore be a flat circle around you until you theoretically got far enough away. But they claim boats disappear over the edge of the globe on the z-axis. So from you to the horizon, would show it clearly, especially in infrared when compared to visible light. Since it's well understood different wavelengths refract at different rates, so if the globe excuse for why we always see too far, now that we have better optics, is really all the light bending along the curve of the Earth to make it appear flat, then we would be able to detect that using the different wavelengths. Since infrared refracts far less than visible light, we would always see the horizon appear closer in infrared. That is not the case. Once you start to look into light and refraction, it becomes painfully obvious the globe is false. If all the light is bending around the globe for miles to give us the appearance of a flat sea to a horizon 10 times further than it should be due to the above-mentioned behavior of light concerning refraction, then all the light at a distance would separate with the wavelengths making the world look rainbow-colored at a distance. The globe, if real, would be gay. But so are the people who promote it. Just look at their arguments incoherently claiming Eratosthenes proved the globe, ignoring that it would work with different assumptions for a flat plane. So they just say he measured shadows, and we have to teach them. He assumed distance and size of the sun with zero refraction on any rays, coming at an angle into what they claim can bend light or density gradient. When real refraction is actually optical density difference between the two mediums and the angle of incidence to the boundary being conducive for refraction. Meanwhile, they don't have two mediums between them and the observed target at the horizon to begin with. It only shows how little they comprehend the thing they are trying to argue. Light refracts when it hits a boundary between two media of different optical density at an angle called the angle of incidence. 
if the angle is too steep to the boundary, the ray does not get refracted, then it gets reflected in something called total internal reflection. If the ray is normal to the surface or 90 degrees or vertical to the surface, it does not get refracted. To give you an example, look straight down into a fish tank or through the side of the fish tank, things appear where they are. Look at it from an angle, for instance, the corner. You can see the distortion. In a medium like air, there are no distinct boundaries. The globe believers like to cite sugar solution and laser and imagine its proof, but forget the solution has higher optical density than the water and as they let it sit. It forms an optical density gradient slowly becoming homogeneous and isotropic over time. That is nothing like our air. Our air is literally the opposite, since it's inhomogeneous and anisotropic. And most damning of all, when we stir the medium of their laser through a sugar solution presentation, suddenly they cannot conjure the effect, since suddenly the medium is inhomogeneous and anisotropic, or not conducive for refractive effects, like our air normally. They cannot even name the five classifications of refractive effects, nor can identify them. Refraction is a straw they want to clutch, but it was always factored in by us, given that before 2020, all the Globers argued for a geometric horizon, and we pointed at that the horizon is apparent, and there exists a very slight potential for refraction under the right conditions. Those and other things such as mirror effects like mirages are distortions in how far or how much we can see. But the horizon is simply not a physical feature of a ball, as the globe believers postulated, and that is very easy to show. Most globers think if the Earth were flat that people would see forever. The air does not have perfect opacity, just like water in a glass might appear clear. But get enough of it to look through, and you discover fast that light can only travel so far before it loses its intensity, and it's compounded the more stuff it has to go through to get to you. But here is where it gets easy. Imagine a long hallway. Now stretch it to infinity. You will notice that the floor, ceiling, and walls are all coming together into a point. Now imagine if you remove the walls from the sides. What happens to that point? It stretches out into a line, a horizon line. Now there is more. Normally when you look down the hallway, your eye height is near the middle of the hallway or above the center line. Now, as you change your height from the surface, you limit your angles to the surface. Pressed against the floor, you cannot see the pattern on the carpet as far down the hall. But as you rise, that angle opens up and you can discern more information, see further on the floor. This is related to the Rayleigh criterion and two light rays overlapping, and then the aperture of your eyes and the minimum resolvable angle of your eye. All of this and more plays into what we see. But silly half-naked Greeks believed in invisible laser beam vision and had no concept of optics. As we understand it today, much of our modern technology is built on optics, and somehow people who call themselves modern are copying the errors of these people, using globe earth curve calculators to compare to images or what they see, then using that as a proof the earth is a ball. Meanwhile, the angular resolution of the human eye equals to 1.22 times lambda divided by delta, where lambda is the wavelength of light and delta is the diameter of the eye's pupil. Note the 1.22 number there. The same number we use to derive the distance to the horizon, and in fact we can get the same distance to the horizon based on that for an average man at six foot height. Life is short, has videos on these things. When you look critically at the calculators, they don't account for things getting smaller with distance at all. But if you plot the ground as curved and make the object not follow the law of perspective, then mathematically you can get close to the diffraction limit of the human eye, and then assume that is caused by your religious globe concept. But in the end, you are still only comparing apples to oranges. Also, the guy in the original clip claims to have seen it with his own eyes. A blatant lie or read about wishful seeing, it is where a person's internal state can influence what they see. So believe in the globe religiously, and you will hallucinate and brain fart away the evidence that speaks against your faith. This is how a hypnotist can make people see things and not notice things. Belief is a hell of a drug. Anyway. Sneeko, you are welcome to come to 24-7 Flat Earth Discord. We got so many arguments, this is only a fraction, and the Globers only have logical fallacies in response. But this invitation is extended to anyone else listening, by the way. That has not already violated our rules repeatedly. Just look for a link on YouTube or Rumble. We like to try to keep the discussion civil and logical, so bring your professors, we love that. AI, Andrew Tate out. Have a good one. Peace.